baby. We got issues. In 2020, the world was plagued by the COVID-19 pandemic and events across the world were affected and drone racing was no exception. After several months of social distancing, we finally are able to host our first major drone racing event of the year. Just 20 miles south of NASA's launch facility, Go for launch. we are here at the Vera High School Stadium where over 100 of the fastest pilots from across the world are here to compete Head to head. See in the top two pilots, and this is we're going to move on to our top eight in the next next forty. These top pilots rose through the ranks from a pool of 604 pilots who globally ranked at 97 different global qualifiers. There are two different tracks set up for qualifications, where we've seen some familiar faces and some new pilots who are quickly making their names known. Welcome to 2020 Multi-GP Drone Racing Championship presented by Race Day Quads. Let's go down and meet some of the pilots. Kevin Turner, Quad Doc's my racer name, and everybody knows me as Evan's dad. Well, we're getting later in the brackets of the, not the top 40, and not the next 40, but I mean, we're talking about the real racers, the next, next 40. And I just, I can't stop winning, you know, I just can't. So what makes these pilots fly so fast? You gotta go barefoot, man. It's the best way to fly. You gotta fly barefoot and, and no restrictive clothing. Shark tooth, shark fossil power, power of the deep. I've got good video on all four. Yeah. I've got four pilots ready to go, go alive, on the tone, less Arc. than five. This is her first year racing. She came out to one of my races, local races, never flying a quad before in her life. Coming straight out of the simulator and whooping my pilot's butts on her first ever race. And here she is at the 2020 championships, taking first place in race number 27. Moving on, Pie Fly. I'm Pie Fly from Central PA Quad Racers. It's really fun because like, Everyone had to qualify, so you know you deserve to be here. Drone racing is fun, but let's compare it to a carnival ride. Currently, the Space Coast Fair is going on next door, and you've all experienced the jitters of getting on that one ride that kind of scares you, right? The anticipation builds as the harness locks, the doors shut, and then boom, you take to the skies. The adrenaline, the rush, all the pressures from the ride gives you a wild grin on your face as you start to lose control. It's, it's crazy. This is the craziest drone race ever, but it's so much fun because you go through a gate and you're like, where's my drone gonna go? I don't know. Oh, we're going this way. Okay, let's turn it around. It's wild, it's wild out there. You probably won't be able to see them because they seem to move so fast. Without a doubt, 2020 has been the hardest championship for us to put together. We have faced a canceled venue. We faced weather. We faced restrictions for travel. We faced some of the craziest wind we've seen. But we don't quit. Right now, it's the top 16. Let's get ready. It's going to be sweet.
With the championship title on the line, pilots gave it their all. Some would say they even sent it. The excitement was building. Celebrations were getting a little out of hand. Okay, that's me. Who else got on save up? Okay, up three. Nice setup. I just had so much fun. Go goes on to lap number two. Look at this battle for second and third between Hyper and Propsicle. Propsicle getting just ahead of Hyper on to lap number two. Four tenths of a second separating them. And again, top two staying alive. One more gate to go. There's a checkered for heads up FPV. He is now oh in the semi-final of the consolation bracket. Propsicle finishing in the number two spot. And so that is going to move him and heads up FPV into our next heat. Propsicle is right behind him. The battle for second, third, Chief and Fat Kid. Looking for no mistakes on this one to get into our final four. Looks like Fat Kid may be out of this. No guarantees yet. Might be able to turtle mode. But right now, heads up FPV and Propsicle. You're good. Play it safe. You're going to be going to our final four. If you get to our race day quads checkered line without a scratch. The storyline continues. Will there be a repeat? Heads up FPVs in our final four. And how about the guy qualifying number two? He is in the final four as well. Propsicle making our championship here tonight. Out standing run. An outstanding run indeed, but a devastating oversight to return safely to the landing zone resulted in a disqualification. Propsicle was removed from the final four, which moved Soren FPV into the top runnings. Full send and the whole shot gonna go to Noikel, but Noikel was the TQ and held the Iron Man claws in play. Heads up FPV is just ahead of Noikel. All he needed was one win to seal his face. Look a little bit of contact for heads up FPV. Noikel is down. We are running again. We're gonna hand an ace to back it. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I just need to work on my consistency, I guess. Well, I'm on the last block. So. And again, there's no Iron Man mode. Now, neither Heads Up or Noikel have an ace. That kid is the ace to chase. He's running in the number three spot. And we're about to hand out another ace from the deck. This one going back to Heads Up FPV. Never has a multi-GP championship had a total of four races to decide the victor. Let's do it one more time. I'm hungry. I want I food. I'm <laughs> thirsty, bro. <laughs> four up and everyone racing clean right now heads up and then we got issues we have crashing out we have uh things rebooting this is a grinder but it looks like we are back up in the air and heads up fpv checkered flag about to fly to whoever gets there first and at this point they're gonna say noikel Pilots, if you can just not move your car or your quads, just leave your quads where they are. We do want to do a little bit of CSI. So DVR reviews in play. A DVR review revealed Noikel had gone through a gate in the reverse direction. So what that means after a review of the play, Noikel has been disqualified. There was only one other pilot that got all three laps, and it's that guy right there. Fat Kid is your 2020 Multi GP champion. Our judges, uh, thank you, Tim. Yeah, yeah, so we finished, and then they told us to go again, and then I got third, and then I said I might have got first because we're reviewing first and second, and then first got DQ because he missed the gate, and then second already had an ace. Most confusing thing, I don't even know how I remember it. <laughs> but congrats to Soren, fat kid, he killed it, he earned it. 
and I'm happy to have taken second, uh, and I'm excited to see where Noikel and all the other pilots go next year. But it was a good year, it's exciting as always. You had some multi-GP for you, and we'll see you next year. Thank you. That's killer. Yeah. Yeah. You deserve it, man. Whoa. I so came in qualified third. I was really excited about that. I wasn't expecting to do that well in qualification. I'm usually a little bit lower than that. Um, and just win with consistency, and that's really what happened. Um, you know, this track was really difficult for a lot of pilots, and everyone just kept crashing. And I just kept doing my consistency game. That's how I always do it. Um, so I'm I'm incredibly excited to take the win here. That was honestly I, I was hoping for it, but it was unexpected. I'm, I'm so happy. I want to thank definitely my parents. They're so supportive. Um, David, he was training with me for Hazard FB. He was training with me for a month before this, spotting me for the whole event, helping me out with quads. All my friends here. I just love going to races, being with my friends. Um, honestly, they're, they're like all my sponsors. Everyone's just so awesome. Like there's too many to go through specifically, but everyone knows the part they play.